Hey guys, this is Ken. In this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade from iOS 6 to iOS 5.1.1. Now, the main reason for downgrading is most likely if you want to have the iOS 5.1.1 untethered jailbreak. Currently, iOS 6 doesn't have the untethered jailbreak yet. It does have a tethered jailbreak though. But today, I'm going to show you how to downgrade to iOS 5.1.1 so you can return back to the untethered jailbreak. So let's get started with this tutorial. Now here is the most important part of this video. It is that you have to have your SHSH blobs saved for your iOS 5.1.1 software. So basically, if you saved your SHSH blobs, you can have the ability to downgrade to iOS 5.1.1 successfully. So if you don't have your SHSH blob saved for iOS 5.1.1, you just simply cannot downgrade to iOS 5.1.1. So with that being said, let's get started with the tutorial. So first, you're going to have to download the iOS 5.1.1 Restore IPSW. I'll have this in the description. So uh, first, I'm going to show you how to save your SHSH blobs if you're still on iOS 5.1.1. But if you already saved it, you can skip through the video to the downgrading part of this video. So uh, here's how to save your SHSH blobs. First, you're going to have to download Tiny Umbrellas, connect your device to your computer, and now go to Advanced and make sure that you have this box unchecked. So uncheck request SHSH from Cydia. And now open this and choose where you want to save your SHSH file. So I'm just going to choose my iOS folder. And now click on your device and simply just click Save SHSH. So now you saved your SHSH blobs and it is right here as you can see. A bunch of files popped up and what you're going to look for is the 5.1.1 SHSH. So a bunch of numbers um, and some letters and you see 5.1.1.SHSH. And you're going to use that later in Red Snow and you can close Tiny Umbrellas. So now open up Red Snow 0.9.13 Dev 4. I'll have the download link in the description for you to download this latest version of Red Snow. Now go to Extras, click SHSH Blobs, and click Stitch, and click IPSW, and choose the 5.1.1 IPSW that we downloaded. So it's in my iOS folder, and here it is. So just select that, open it, and now under the Blobs section, you can click Local, and now basically you can choose the 5.1.1 SHSH. So open it. This process might take a while, so just be patient, and I'll be back when it's done. So here it is. I basically made the custom IPSW for restoring to 5.1.1, and it is saved to my iOS folder right here. So this is going to be the custom IPSW that we're going to use in iTunes later on when we restore back to iOS 5.1.1. So now I'm just going to quickly update to iOS 6 because I haven't updated yet. So I can demonstrate how to downgrade. So as you can see, I am on iOS 6, the Passbook app, and the YouTube is removed, and also the Apple Maps. So I am on iOS 6, software version iOS 6, as you can see. So now to restore back, uh, before doing that, you can back up your device to save your data. And now go back to Red Snow. This is the next step. Go back to Red Snow and click Pwn DFU. Now this process basically puts your device into DFU mode and you can have the ability to downgrade. Home and power button for 10 seconds. Release the power button. Keep on holding to the home button for 10 seconds until Red Snow recognizes your device. And now my device is in DFU mode and now you can close iTunes, I mean, uh, you can close Red Snow and open up iTunes and hold Shift and click Restore and choose your custom IPSW that we created using Red Snow. So here it is. Select that and click Open. And now it will ask you to restore to 5.1.1. Click Restore. Now it is extracting the software 
and just wait for it to restore and downgrade back to 5.1.1. Now, if you get any error messages, what I suggest you to do is go to Google or YouTube, search up the message, for example, error 1600. You can go to YouTube or Google, search it up for the fix. So now it is finally finished downgrading. It actually took a while for downgrading. So be patient when you downgrade. And as you can see, I am on 5.1.1. So uh, this is pretty much it. I successfully downgraded from iOS 6 to iOS 5.1.1. And now I can untether jailbreak my device and get all the cool Cydia tweaks. Now here's my suggestion if you get any uh, error messages on iTunes, instead of choosing the custom IPSW that we made in Red Snow, you can choose the official iOS 5.1.1 IPSW that you downloaded from the link in the description. So try that if you get lots of error messages. Uh, so just use this IPSW instead of the custom one and try if it works. So uh, thanks a lot for watching this video. Hope this video helped you to downgrade to iOS 5.1.1. It worked pretty well for me, so I'm pretty sure that it's going to also work for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends who also want to downgrade to iOS 5.1.1. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.